Today's sequence is going to be for those people that have had a stressful day and you may be feeling some tight tension in your lower back or hips or your upper back. And this is going to be a gentle, relaxing sequence for um, just overall tension, especially in your lower back. So let's begin by closing our eyes and just noticing how you feel in your body. Just allow your mind to scan your body and notice from where you're holding tension. And then bring your awareness to your breath, noticing where the breath is moving your body. And then in taking in a big breath and letting out with a big audible sigh, <sighs> leaving the day's busyness behind. And do that a couple more times, a big breath. <sighs> Feeling all the day's responsibilities just rolling off your shoulders. Feeling a softness in your face and a softness in your belly. Just witnessing your breath. And then gently opening your eyes. Let's begin by doing a gentle twist by bringing your left hand to your right knee and taking your right hand as far around your left side, as close to your body as possible. Pull the lower belly in, a big breath, and on your exhalation, pull on the knee. So if your back is really tight, you might want to to go very slow, inhaling, easing up. And on your exhale, find your edge. So not pushing your edge too far. And do that one more time, big breath. And then exhale, pulling your right shoulder back, your left forward. And then now hold this stretch for two breaths. Closing your eyes, pulling your lower belly in. Your next inhalation, gently unwind. Coming back to center, a little wiggle to integrate. And then take your right hand across the left hand, real close to your spine so you have height in your spine. Walk in that left hand as far around to the right side. Pull the lower belly in to stabilize your lower back. Big breath on your exhalation. So this is just our warm-up. And then release, inhaling. Exhale. So you can take your edge just a little further each time. And then inhale, easing up. And then exhale. Taking it to your edge without really cranking it. You want to be very gentle. Pulling the left shoulder back, eyes closed. Two to three deep Ujjayi breaths. And then gently release. Inhale. Integrating that, we go a little bit from side to side. And let's move right into circles. So turn the fingers in, the elbows out. And begin a circle motion. And then let your head roll. Again, closing your eyes. Let the head roll to loosen the neck. Let your shoulders be playful, your elbows. So we're moving out of the thinking mind, moving into what we're feeling and experiencing in the body without judging or analyzing. Just witnessing. And then let's reverse direction. So notice how I'm letting my shoulders be playful. And my head just roll wherever it wants to roll. And any sighs or sounds always is another way of releasing tension. Mm. So one last time, full circle. And the next time you find yourself forward, Reaching forward. So again, some of you might be just right here. And then just wiggle it out. 
let your head go. And then just keep walking your hands out if you're able to just to roll all the way down. The main thing is just let your head be heavy. Big breath into the kidneys and the ribs. Uh. Now walk in the hands a little bit at an angle. Reach in a little more with your right hand. So walk into the left. Reach in with the right. Let your, re- your ear rest on the shoulder. Then walk into the right. Reaching forward. Let your head rest on your left shoulder. Again, you don't want to overextend out of the shoulder joint. And breathe. Big sigh. (sighs) And then walk it forward to the middle one more time. Wiggle, wiggle. Let the head go. Big sigh. (sighs) So letting the day's tension melt away. Dissolve. Gliding the hands in. Coming back to sitting tall. And just noticing how you feel. Now opening up the side body, take the right hand up. So we're going to just move back and forth now to open up the side body. Inhaling as we reach up. Exhale as we lean forward. Let the arm be heavy, the head heavy. So we let gravity do all the work. (sighs) Again, you can add sound. So it's important that your yoga practice is also fun and playful, not always so serious. And the next time that you find yourself leaning to the right, let's just hang out there for a little bit. Letting gravity do the work at a deeper level. Your eyes close. So this is really good by squeezing into the kidneys and the adrenal glands on the right side of your body. And then lifting back up our last time onto the left side. Let the arm be heavy. Shake up the head if you feel any tension. And then let that right arm lift you back up. And come back to center. And again, close your eyes and notice how you feel. And then now let's release the legs after having them bent for a while. And let's bounce behind the legs, just energizing those tired legs from the day, massaging, it's self-massage. So be real strong here and do it for a while. Now lean back, and we want to rock the legs out. This helps release tension up in the hip joint. You can even let your shoulders come all the way up to your ears here, massaging a little bit into the shoulders. Let the feet be loose, the toes loose. And then bring in that to stillness, bend the knees, and let's turn sideways. So it's important that you have a blanket, so we're going to spinal rock. And you want to slide to the front of your blanket, and then take in the back of your legs, round the lower back. We're going to gently rock, so only up to the shoulders. So it takes a little bit of momentum to go back and forth. Ha. Huh. You can add the ha huh to let go of tension again. I use sound a lot to release tension. Ha. Huh. This is very um, energizing to the spine. It awakens your spinal fluid as well as sometimes you can get a spinal adjustment. I find this very playful as well. And then bringing the soles of your feet together, and you want to create big bounces.